Hi, welcome to this video on writing the equation of a median median line given a set of points. The first step would be sorting the points so they are in increasing order. For your convenience, you can see my ordered pairs that are in the chart are already in increasing order. But if I had had to move a particular point because the x was out of order, I would have moved the whole ordered pair. In other words, 1115 means somebody who studied 11 minutes scored a 15 on a quiz. So when I do move a point, the whole point has to move so that the related information stays together. Next, we're going to have to divide the points into three equally sized groups. In this particular table, there are 10 different points, and as you can see, 10 is not divisible by 3, so I'm going to have one extra. That extra point I'm going to include in the middle grouping. So usually when my information is already in the table, I just divide my data with a horizontal line. Notice that I divided my data points into three groups. The first group had three. The next grouping had four. And the third group had three data points. So you can see my extra point was included in the middle grouping. The next step is to find a summary point for each of the groups by finding the median x value and the median y value within each group. So for this group, for the x's, it's already kind of laid out for us because we had already organized our data with the x's increasing. So it's just the middle number. There's no guarantee though that the y's will be in the order because we never sorted it according to the y's, but it happens to be in this particular group that 15 is the middle number. So our summary point for group 1, which I'll kind of indicate with an S with a little 1 for a subscript, is 11, 15. To get our summary point in the second group, our X's again are already organized, but they're an even number of points. So I've got to take these two numbers and I need to average them. So down here I'll go 45 plus 48 divided by 2. And I'm going to get 46.5. So for my summary point in region 2, I now know my x coordinate is going to be 46.5. Still need to go find my y coordinate. Notice my y values are not in order. I would have to resequence these first before I can find the median y. I have now resequenced them 68, 81. 82 and 93. Again, there's an even number of y values, so to find the median y, I need to take the two numbers closest to middle, which would be these two. I need to average them. 81 plus 82 divided by 2 comes out to be 81.5. So now I know the y coordinate of my summary point for the second group of numbers. Now it's time to find my third summary point. And the x's again are already in order, so it's just the middle x. We need to get the middle y, and I see that they're not in order. If 
I were to put them in order, it would be 50, 90, and 99. And the middle number is 90. So there is my summary point for the third group. These last three steps is actually where we write the equation of the median median line. Remember to write equation of any line we need a point and a slope. We're going to be taking the first and the third summary points and using those to calculate the slope. So to get that slope we will go 90 minus 15 all over 100 minus 11 that's equal to 75 over 89 so that is going to be the slope of our median median line to find a point which is on the median median line we're going to use all three of the summary points and we're going to do an average of the three X's and we're going to do an average of the three Y's. This point that we get that's on the median median line is called the centroid. So in this case, the centroid will be 11 plus 46.5 plus 100 all divided by 3 because we're averaging 3 numbers comma and then the y will be 15 plus 81.5 plus 90 all divided by 3 again because we're averaging 3 numbers I went to my calculator to find out what this ordered pair simplified to and the average of the three X's came out to be 52.5 and the average of all the Y's came out to be 62.16666 repeating so I just put a little repetend over the sixes. So there is my centroid point, and it is a point on the median median line. Our final step is to actually take the slope we just found and the point, and to write the equation of a line. So we use our formula y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And in this particular case, the equation is going to be y minus 62.16 repeating equals the slope which was 75 over 89 parentheses x minus the x coordinate which was 52.5. So there is the elusive beast we were looking for. There is the equation of the median median line for this set of data. That concludes this screencast, and I hope it was helpful.